the central nervous system, the life force of the entire ant civilization. But what happens when this matriarch dies? What becomes of the colony that once thrived under her rule? Does the colony collapse, find a new queen, or evolve in unexpected ways? In this video, we delve deep into the hidden life of ants to uncover the fascinating story of what really happens when a queen ant dies. So let's start the today's video. To understand the consequences of a queen ant's death, we must first grasp her role within the colony. The queen is born from a fertilized egg, just like her worker sisters. But what sets her apart is her diet during the larval stage. While workers are fed standard food, a future queen receives special treatment a rich, protein-packed substance often called royal jelly. This nourished diet triggers physiological changes, preparing her body for reproduction and giving her the ability to lay thousands, sometimes millions, of eggs during her lifetime. Once matured, the queen mates with one or more males during a special event known as the nuptial flight. After this brief, high-stakes journey, the males die, and the queen returns to the ground, finds a suitable nest site, and starts a new colony. She stores the sperm in her body, using it over the years to fertilize eggs. This one-time mating event supplies enough genetic material for the rest of her life. In most ant colonies, especially those of species like fire ants or black garden ants, the queen's sole job is to lay eggs. She doesn't manage the colony like a monarch might govern a kingdom. Instead, her presence alone regulates the colony's behavior. The pheromones she releases act as chemical messages, signaling her health and reproductive status. These pheromones suppress the reproductive ability of worker ants, maintain harmony, and coordinate the complex workings of the colony. It's through these invisible chemical cues that the colony maintains its structure and purpose. But what happens when the queen dies, either from old age, disease, predation, or human interference? As soon as these chemical markers fade, the workers detect that something is wrong. The absence of pheromones acts like an emergency alarm within the colony. In polygynous colonies those with multiple queens the loss of one queen is not necessarily catastrophic. The remaining queens continue to lay eggs, some species also have remarkable adaptive strategies. However, there's a catch. Worker ants can only lay unfertilized eggs, which develop into male ants. Males, being unable to perform the necessary colony functions like foraging or brood care, it cannot truly save it. Or what scientists call a gamergate. This adaptive resilience showcases the incredible diversity and ingenuity found within the ant world. In many domesticated or captive ant colonies those kept by enthusiasts or researchers the death of a queen often spells the end. Some ants, such as leafcutter ants or army ants, rely even more heavily on their queens due to their massive colony sizes. The queen of an army ant colony, for instance, can lay up to 3 to 4 million eggs every month. When she dies, such colonies, numbering hundreds of thousands of individuals, are left without any way to replenish their members. Army ants are nomadic and don't build permanent nests, making the replacement of a queen nearly impossible. Without her, their nomadic march comes to a halt, and extinction looms near. This behavioral change is critical. In many ant species, caste is determined early in development, and once a larva is designated as a worker, it cannot become a queen later. In such cases, if no queen designated larvae are present, the colony has no hope of replacement. Yet, 
through this story of death, we also find life. Some colonies adapt. Some evolve. Some workers rise to take the queen's place. The death of a queen ant is a dramatic chapter in the life of a colony. It is a reminder that even in the tiniest worlds, the balance of life hangs delicately on the presence of one. Thanks for watching. If you found this deep dive into the hidden world of ants fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing insights into the wonders of nature. Until next time, keep